In the name of the Father, and of the Son, and of the Holy Spirit, one God. Amen. Hello, I'm Father Paul, and this is the good news. Christ is risen. Truly, he is risen. The words of my mouth and the meditation of my heart be acceptable in your sight, O Lord, my strength and my Redeemer. A reading from the Holy Gospel according to St. John. Chapter 20, verses 19 through to 31. Then the same day at evening, being the first day of the week, when the doors were shut where the disciples were assembled, for fear of the Jews, Jesus came and stood in the midst and said to them, Peace be with you. When he had said this, he showed his hand, them his hands and his sides, then the disciples were glad when they saw the Lord. So Jesus said to them again, Peace to you, as the Father has sent me, I also send you. And when he had said this, he breathed on them and said to them, Receive the Holy Spirit. If you forgive the sins of any, they are forgiven them. If you retain the sins of any, they are retained. Now Thomas, called the twin, one of the twelve, was not with them when the Jesus came. The other disciples therefore say, said to him, We have seen the Lord. So he said to them, Unless I see in his hands the print of the nails, and put my finger into the print of the nails, and put my hand into his side, I will not believe. And after eight days, his disciples were again inside, and Thomas with them. Jesus came, the doors being shut, stood in the midst, and said to them, Peace to you. And he said to Thomas, Reach your finger here, and look at my hands, and reach your hand here, and put it into my side. Do not be unbelieving, but believing. And Thomas answered and said to him, My Lord and my God. Jesus said to him, Thomas, because you have seen me, you have believed. Blessed are those who have not seen and yet believed. And truly, Jesus did many other signs in the presence of his disciples, which are not written in this book. But these are written, that you may believe that Jesus is the Christ, the Son of God, and that believing you may have life in his name. Glory to you, O God. Come, Holy Spirit, fill our hearts with your love. Help us in the understanding of your words and teachings. Help us to have faith and believe in you. In this reading from St. John's Gospel, we read about how Jesus appeared to the ten disciples. Now, he came twice, actually. The first time, one of the disciples wasn't there, Thomas. And from this, we had that, not very good words, but we say, doubting Thomas. Yes, Thomas doubted what these fellow disciples told him, that Jesus had appeared to them. Yes. Unless I see the print of the nails and the wound in his side, I will not believe. Doubting Thomas. Yes. He needed to see to believe. Are you like that? Do you doubt the word of God? Do you doubt that Jesus Christ is God? Do you need to see to believe? How strong is your faith? 
And of course, we then read in the gospel reading how after eight days, his disciples were again inside and Thomas was with them this time. And Jesus came in. The door was locked. How could he get in? But he did. And he appeared in the midst of them. And he said to them, Peace to you. Then he said to Thomas, Reach your finger here and look at my hands. Reach your hand here and put it into my side. Do not be unbelieving, but believing. And of course, Thomas, seeing this, he said, My Lord and my God. And Jesus then said to Thomas, Because you have seen me, you have believed. Blessed are those who have not seen and yet have believed. That goes for the majority of us, those who believe. Yes, not all of us have seen the Lord, yet we believe. Meditate on this today. However, doubting Thomas needed to see before he believed. Pray to the Holy Spirit to help you in your unbelief. That you will believe that Jesus is the Son of God. And that believing you may have life in his name. Glory to you, O God. And may the blessing of Almighty God, Father, Son, and the Holy Spirit, be upon you and remain with you always. Amen. 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 Most Holy Theotokos, save us. Amen.